Duo just sent me a new bait all the way from Japan. You have never seen anything like this, and it's never been on YouTube. I'm the first to show you this incredible bait, and we've been slaying on it. That bait is badass, boys. Yep. Geeks, let me tell you. I have never seen a bait like this. I've only dreamed about a bait like this. If you use forward-facing sonar or you do anything, you have always dreamed of a bait, a soft plastic bait that really and truly at all depths walks side to side like a glide bait. Ladies and gentlemen, the BR fish and the BR head from Duo. All right, geeks, here we are. This is the BR head. Bay Roof, I think it's pronounced, uh, B-A-Y-R-U-F. Now, I don't know what that stands for. It's all caps, so it's R-U-F. But the B-R head and the B-R fish, all right? Listen, I don't think I've been this excited about a bait in a very long time, if ever. Now, there's two different rigging options, but I want to start with the head itself. The head itself actually is not just a bullet weight it has some built-in wings to it they're very small you may think that those really don't do anything but you would be so wrong now the way i've been fishing it primarily is like this flat side down curved side up and what that does is gives you an amazing side to side walking action. Now I'm gonna show you everything that they sent me. I don't know if this is all the sizes or all the colors, but uh, this is probably, this has been the money maker for me. Uh, this is UV silver. It's got a little bit of a blue glow to it in the water. This is the other one that has been a real money maker for me. And this is the Sirashu Pearl. Now here's a bunch of the other colors that they sent me. This is gold red. And if I butcher these names, I apologize. I believe this is Kibai, Kabaingo, Kabaingo green. Sardine, orange gold, lime gold, sartreuse silver, me and some smallmouth gonna have a good time with that. Bay white, I may call that bubble gum or pink. And last but not least, straight sartreuse. Now, again, I don't know for certain that this is all the weights or all the sizes of weights that they have. This is what they sent me, okay? I didn't even know they were sending me this. Uh, this is, they all have one all hooks. This is a one tenth in the BR head. The two sizes we've been using the most is the 316 and the one quarter. They even have a 516. So now let me show you the two ways to rig this bait. To get the straight, you just run it right down the back. I'm not gonna really show you that. You come out the flat side, so the hook would, it would essentially look like that. To get the walk the dog, this is what you do. And we just go right in the dead center. And we come out. Now I cannot tell you how important it is to get this thing on straight. If you have it lopsided, I mean it needs to be straight if you have it lopsided it will not work before you just start throwing it out there make sure that you you test it you throw it out there see if it's walking correct and if not then make sure you bring it back take it apart and do it again it is so very important to make sure that this thing looks just like this now, I do recommend a dab of Avid Angler Glue, okay? Right there, 
put a little dab of glue because this thing will pull off. I mean, it just will. The plastic is super soft. You're gonna catch more fish if you put a dab of glue on it. But that is the easiest way to rig it. Now, let me show you rod, reel, and line. All right, let's talk about rod, reel, and line setup for this. Guys, this is a TFO tactical bass. It's seven foot three, medium, fast action, okay? So, you know, 3 sixteenths to a half ounce. I have got this paired up. And of course, everything will be linked in the description below. Of course, I have this paired up with a Lose. This is a custom pro, in my opinion, the best Lose spinning reel on the market. I've got it paired up with K9, that is the braid. I say it all the time, best braid on the market, guys. So I've got it a braid to a Pro 100 100% fluoro, not the fluoro guys. The fluoro, which I love for a lot of moving baits, but single hook baits, I prefer this, which is the Pro 100, 100% fluorocarbon, eight pound test, okay? Six or eight pound test, do not go higher than that with this. Now, let me show you how you fish this thing. So where can you fish this? Guys, with their weight options, you can fish it as shallow with the one tenth as you want, and you can fish it almost as deep as you could possibly fish it. Over brush piles, over lay downs, over logs, over grass. There is no limit to the possibilities you can walk this bait around. And trust me, the bass go berserk over it. I have watched them on forward facing sonar and I have never seen bass react to a bait the way they react to this. So there's two different ways to fish it. If you've got it rigged flat side up, then you're basically tight lining it, right? So you're gonna cast out and you're just gonna let it pendulum back while barely shaking your rod tip, barely shaking it and reeling. Make sure you hold your rod tip at about a 10 or 11. I prefer 10 as you're shaking it. You're gonna have a better chance of setting the hook and feeling the bite when they do hook up. Now you can do this and contour a lot of your banks. You can do it in open water. There's so many different things, so many different places and ways that you can fish this. And we'll do a tight lining video, how to tight line both with and without live scope. I did one last winter. It was a great video. We'll talk about that a little bit more, but this is a great way to catch fish. Now, this is to me the most deadly part of this bait, and that is the kind of glide, walk the dog style, and this is exactly what it's like. It is no different than walking a top water bait. This bait, this bait's incredible. This is no different than walking a topwater bait. Don't try to overpower it, or you will overpower it and blow it out. But again, you just cast it out. And then you just pop and point the rod tip back at the bait. Now I'm gonna tell you guys, one of the big keys is you wanna make a longer cast. So you guys that are fishing in open water or you're fishing over brush piles, because I'm telling you, the harder you twitch, so the harder you hit it at the top and go back, the bigger the action. So cadence, size, or amount of movement are all going to matter. It's going to be big, a big key. So make sure you let the fish tell you what they want. If they want it just erratic and side to side, or if they want nice little soft twitches where it's moving. And when you get it right, those soft twitches, you're still going to move about a foot and a half, two feet, to, you know, from side to side, and it will stay in place. Weight, of course, is gonna have a big key with that. To me, we're gonna say no wind. Uh, the 110th, I'm gonna fish probably 10 foot or less. The 3 sixteenths, I'm gonna push it to maybe 15. The quarter, I can get it down and work it really well at about somewhere around 
uh, all the way down to about 30 feet. I mean, it starts wanting to rise once, once you get there. Um, the heaviest, uh, I think it was a 5 16 I mean, you, you can fish that pretty deep. I mean, I can fish that down to about 50 to 55. Once we get in that 50, it wants to rise just a little bit too. So you got to work it real slow. But the key to walking this bait is you've got to get a long cast because you don't want to bring, start bringing it up. You want to keep it parallel. So one of the big keys is you've got to keep your rod tip down to the water. That's a lot like a spook, but it's also like another duo bait, the spy bait. You want to keep that rod tip down. Hook set and fighting the bass. Keep twitching. You keep twitching until the rod loads, just like a jerk bait in, in that matter. You keep twitching until that rod loads and then you side set, keep your rod tip down and get that fish in. Make sure you drag set, it's a one all hook. Like I said, geeks, you're not gonna see this bait anywhere else except on Bass Geek. No one else is talking about it because they know how good it is. It's incredible. Nobody's telling you about this bait except for me. I will try my best to put links in the description. Tackle Warehouse doesn't have it. This bait is so new that I don't even know where you can go buy it at right now. Like legitimately, I have no clue where you're gonna buy this bait at. All right, but I will do my best to put something in the description for you. Uh, and wherever it is, just let them know I sent you. Okay, because I'm sure they have no clue who I am. Questions, comments in the comment section below. You guys know I love to talk about fishing with you. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you guys ring the bell so you get the videos. You get to watch the videos when they come out. 100% Watch Squad. Love you guys. And as always, guys, find this thing. Go catch you some fish because you geek rock. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what we can do. Let's see who's going to win the nickels and dirty jigs bass geek box for this month we're gonna copy go out to a random comment picker paste it in uh, add comment replies food filler duplicates no 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 one winner math it up and uh, let's get those comments 146 unique comments see who wins this bad boy randy dodd congratulations randy i'll put a link i'll put a message uh or i will reply to your hashtag dirty and uh you can get in touch with me, bassgeek.biteme at gmail.com. I'll put all that in the comment to you, and uh, we'll get you the box.